buyers don't leave you feedback, well, you're not alone. Nobody cares about feedback now. Chase your feedback the proper way and make some sales on top of that. Stay tuned. Hello again, I'm Polish Pete and I'm an eBay reseller based in UK. I buy cheap ladies clothing in bulk and I sell them individually on eBay. Thank you for being here, guys. I'm so grateful, you know, that somebody is watching my videos. I'm so grateful that somebody is learning something from them. Thank you. So guys, like many other resellers, you must be a bit frustrated and upset because your buyers don't leave you feedback. Now, feedback doesn't pay your bills, but obviously every, feed, every positive feedback gives you that tiny little boost and pushes your listings up. You know, for eBay, that's an ultimate signal that the buyer had a positive experience. 10 years ago, you could get as much as 80% of your feedbacks. Now, you will be lucky to get 20 to 30%. In general, I don't chase my feedback for two main reasons. One, I just find it not worth my time really. If somebody is not bothered to leave me a feedback after eBay prompts them to do it, you know, I don't think they will be bothered when I will prompt them to do it with my message. And the second reason is I stand in the position that no news is a good news. I'm just a little bit afraid that when somebody doesn't leave me a feedback, maybe this person is not fully satisfied with the purchase. And when I prompt them to, you know, leave me the feedback, they will leave me a negative or neutral feedback because I just dared to prompt them. And I know maybe I'm a little bit paranoid on this one. Right. The one and the most important thing that you can do to get more positive feedbacks is quick dispatch. If you can dispatch next day, do it. If you can dispatch same day, do it. Just dispatch as soon as you can. Uh, before I've gone abroad, I was dispatching every single day. Now my wife does it only twice a week and I can see a dramatic drop in those feedback re received. Also, a lot of my feedbacks say something like quick dispatch, fast delivery, you know, came before given time or something like that. Uh, you know what, let's have a look. So guys, this is my feedback page, some random feedback page, and look at that. Arrived quickly, fast delivery arrived quickly delivered on time delivered on time very fast delivery fast delivery prompt delivery arrived super quick let's uh, have a look on the next one Quickly delivered, fast service, arrived in time, quick delivery. You, you know what I'm talking about, guys? Quick delivery is the key. As you could see, this one simple tiny little thing will, you know, will get you a lot of feedback because people are spoiled nowadays. You know, Amazon is sending items very, very quick and Amazon spoiled people. They, ex uh, they uh, expect the same from us eBay sellers as well. But uh, it's not what I wanted to talk about. Lately, I've came up with an, an 
interesting idea. What if there was a way to push people to leave you positive feedback and to get more sales at the same time? Like uh, killing two birds with one stone. I haven't tried that method yet because I'm still abroad and I can't really do it. But I think when I will come back to, to UK, I'll, I'll definitely try it and I'll, I'll check the results. It's something simple and it's something that, you know, you can really, really try and, and without spending a lot of money. Now, there is a lot of people who put thank you cards in their parcels. Me personally, I don't do it because for me it was always a bit of waste of money and time and effort really. But, you know, it's just another thing that you have to do when packaging. However, if you could print a thank you card with something like this. So guys, this is the, the note that we're going to print on the thank you card. I'm not going to read it to you. It basically says, you know, leave us positive feedback and you're going to get 15% discount on your next purchase from our eBay store. So basically, you're going to print that on the thank you card and we're going to put that thank you card into the poly mailer. So just pause the video and, you know, make yourself a note or if you're watching that on your a phone, just take a screenshot and job done. Okay, let's go to the next step. And then when they, when they have left a positive feedback, we could send them an eBay message like this. Now guys, this is the message for the buyer to the buyer after they have left us a feedback. Yeah, look at this link here. That will be linked to your store. Yeah, and when the buyer clicks this link, he will get or she will get the discount. Nobody else will get that discount. Just the person who clicks that link. So again, just take a screenshot or make a note. And let's go to next stage. The link that we have put into the message would be a codeless voucher. It's an eBay feature not many people know about and even less people use. This way we could uh, push them to leave us a positive feedback and then we could sell a few more items at the same time. Now obviously there would be a discount, right? For me it's not a massive problem as I accept offers of around 20% off of the asking price and you know, the thing will require some work, you know, like sending those messages, putting those thank you cards, uh, you know, but if you set up a template of an of a message and you do, and then, you know, do it like maybe once or twice a week, it should be manageable. So how to set up a codeless voucher? So to set up your uh, codeless voucher, you go here, marketing promotions. And then you you are in this screen. You choose this one, create promotion, codeless voucher. And there you have it. You have to set a minimum purchase amount. So you can set whatever you wish. Even, you know, one pound, for example. Yeah. And then you can choose a percentage discount and choose whatever, 15% or whatever you wish to, to give them. Then you have to create an inclusion rule. And for me, that will be, for example, whole shop. So add inclusion rule and that entire inventory is now included in this codeless voucher. I enter description. You can, I don't know, you can put something like 15% off across the entire store or whatever. Just think about something catchy. And then enter offer title. Say, for example, feedback thank you offer. Yeah. Start immediately. 
set up some end date, whatever Sunday, I don't know, 8 p.m. Apply and submit. And done, your codeless voucher is created. Now eBay, it, it takes eBay a while to, to set up that codeless voucher. So when you will go here and click view, you won't be able to view it. Oh, sorry, you will be able to view it. There is your link. Oh, there you go. There is your link that you will put to your into your message to the buyer. And when the buyer clicks that link, it will take him to your store with all those discounts applied. However, if you click that link right now, it will return an error message or it doesn't, it won't even open as you can see, because it's just, it takes eBay some time to create that voucher. We couldn't find the promotion you requested. So it will take out of my experience, it will take two to three hours for this uh, promotion to be live, to go live. So you have to remember that and just check before you start to send those messages that just uh, check if that, that link is working properly. And that's it really. And that's it really guys. Uh, instead of chasing feedback by, by sending them messages and begging them for leaving that feedback, we are giving them an incentive, you know, an incentive to do it and in the same time hopefully we are able to sell some more items now question is will it work i don't know because i've never tried it but you know it may actually work you know all my stock at the moment is already packed into poly mailers and ready to be posted so for me there is no point to cut through all those poly mailers put the thank you card and then uh, you know tape it with a ta with a uh, sticky tape you know, just to, to make it look like a bit tatty. So, but, you know, so I will definitely try that method with new items that I'm listing as soon as I, I go back to UK, basically. With that being said, guys, let me wrap it up here. Thank you for watching this video. If you think it's a good idea, please leave me a thumb up and consider subscribing to the channel. So you won't miss new contact, content that I will be uploading. Uh, I will leave you some video over here uh, that may be interesting for you. And see you next time. Bye bye.